Well, welcome back. Our co-host on the day returned from Normandy, New York Times bestselling author John Gilstrap. I think that's the first time today I've used the New York Times preface for it. I've been wondering about it. Yeah. I, morning. Normandy kind of trumped it. Yeah, well. You go to Normandy, that's pretty it, impressive. It was. Yeah. It was fun. On Tuesday, coming up, we'll have uh, another candidate forum, and we'll start it at 8 o'clock in the morning with uh, the Berkeley County Commission race of John Hardy versus Dirk Stansberry. It will continue 8.30 to 9.30 with John Doyle and Patricia Rucker. At 9.30, we'll get into the House of Delegates' 98th district race. The Democrat there is Troy Miller, and the Republican is Joe Funkhauser. Joe is now suddenly the incumbent in, in that uh a race right there as he was appointed yesterday to fill out the term of uh, Delegate Paul Espinosa, who's now former Delegate Paul Espinosa. Joe, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Rob. Thank you for having me. Hey, congratulations to you on the appointment, Joe. How did that come about? Well, Delegate uh, Paul Espinosa uh, resigned to take the racing commission. You can't do under our constitution. You can't serve in both capacities simultaneously. So that left this uh, uh, his seat vacant. And the process under West Virginia law is the uh, if when, if there's a vacancy in the um, delegate or senate, that the uh, executive committee for whichever party uh, the inco- the former incumbent was will have three to 15 days to uh, give a list of three names to the governor, and then the governor will have up to five days to uh, uh, pick someone from that list uh, that's qualified to appoint them. And so I'm very thankful to the Jefferson County Republican Executive Committee as well as Governor Justice for their confidence and endorsement in selecting me uh, and appointing me to fill the big shoes of Paul Espinoza. And um, I'm... um, uh, not taking anything for granted in this upcoming election and continue to want to uh, earn the confidence of the voters here in the 98th district. I've been doing a lot of campaigns and debates. I got two on scheduled on uh, Friday and two on Tuesday as well. Um, so I look forward to getting a, a head start, though, in terms of um, with the interims and, and building relationships with colleagues and, and, and drafting some, some bills, uh, important pieces of legislation. Um, I'm not sure we'll take those up in the interims unless the governor calls a special session, but uh, there's a lot can happen here before the end of the year for this particular vacancy. But um, uh, that's that's how this came about, and I, I really uh, I'm actually going to go thank the governor in person because he said come see me real soon yesterday when he made the appointment. So he has uh, I can't disclose where I'm going to meet him, but it is in the western front of the Eastern Panhandle because it's a, a surprise. So I'm going to go meet him here there this afternoon and thank him in person. Very good, Joe. Do you uh, know how many others were considered for this, or was this one of those no brainers where hey we got a guy who's a Republican running in the district we need to. Re- uh, to appoint a Republican to replace him, this is the obvious choice and the only consideration. Well, I was not privy to those discussions, not being on the Jefferson County Republican Executive Committee, but in similar circumstances that that, there, um, that w- someone has won the primary and, and it's before the election that, uh, you know, if they have the confidence of the voters, that's certainly a, a factor, you know, in winning the primary. And um, uh, so I'm not sure who the other the, the other names were entirely, but... That's sort of the tradition in these circumstances. I know you said you were going to meet the governor to thank him personally. Do you also get sworn in at that point, or has that happened remotely? I will uh, be making that trip um, the early part of next week. Early part of next week. But until then, you can you fully function as the delegate representative of the 98th while that's in the interim? Well, I've been appointed, um, uh, and, and I'm not officially the delegate until I get sworn in. That's how uh, that works, I believe. All right. So at the moment, the district then just functions without a delegate until you get sworn in. Yes. All right. Very good. And um, and so, yeah, I believe uh, I'm going to make the trip on Sunday night and do it Monday morning. Excellent. And do you feel like this gives you an advantage in the race, Joe, now as you will be the sitting delegate? Well, certainly, you know, I, um, it's certainly I'm, I'm very happy with, with the confidence and endorsement of the governor and, and the, the uh, Jefferson County Republican Committee um, in terms of 
you know, I'm I'm not taking any vote for granted out there, but uh, I think that it, it certainly helps in terms of hey, the the governor and and the, the executive committee uh, have confidence in my candidacy, and so um, I think it helps in that regard. But I, I'm not taking anything for granted, and I'm running to to, to represent everyone in the ni- in the 98th district. Uh, this is John Gilstrap. Congratulations on, on the appointment. I've been sitting here wondering if, if this is something of a two-edged sword. If I were in your shoes, obviously it's a great compliment, and, uh, and it is an honor to have the support of the executive committee and the governor. But on the other hand, we're late in a campaign season, and I'm, and I'm wondering if, if there's not also an element of distraction from a campaign you know, th- th- taking you off the street of and away from knocking on doors to to do the the business of the state. But on the other hand, it gives you uh, a, a lot more press than you would get otherwise. I'm not sure that there's a question here. It, it just I've been trying to run through my head if 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 there's a if there's a second edge to, to this sword that that uh, that you've been grappling with. Well, it's certainly a busy campaign season, and uh, you know it's an incredible honor. Uh, you know, uh, it's the, the the Jefferson County, West Virginia, have, have been good to me and my family and duty calls. So uh, I'm, I'm answering the call. Um, I feel that uh, the reason I'm running for this race is because I think I'd be good at it. I'm a majored in political science and Shepherd. I'm I'm an attorney, civil uh, civil and uh, litigation, as well as a business attorney, and I think my skill set is. Um, uh, very complimentary towards uh, being successful in this role, being able to draft my own legislation. And but to your point, though, um, you know, I whatever the the the, um, the incumbency is, I, I I'm I, I think the governor justice and the Republican legislature have done very good things, and I would like to continue that trajectory of being fiscally responsible, being turning it around from when the Democrats last controlled the House when they had a five hundred million dollar deficit to today today we have a seven hundred million dollar surplus and able to do really good things in terms of eliminating taxation on social security, reducing our income tax and um, you know i'm my, my sort of philosophy is acknowledge reality and how to improve it. And um, my, my my opponent in the general election campaign, you know, I, well, he's a nice guy. You know, he, he said at our debate a few weeks ago that he supports a cradle to the grave welfare state. And I, I, I just don't see um, – he hasn't explained how he's going to pay for any of that. And so I, I think there's a very uh, stark contrast here for the choice for the people of the 98th district of, of who can be the most effective and get things done for, for our district and State. Joe, I want to thank you very much for your time this morning and congratulate you once, uh, congratulate you once again on your appointment to the House of Delegates 98th District seat to succeed Mr. Espinosa. All right. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, John. Thanks for having me on. I look forward to our debate on Tuesday. We will see you next Tuesday, sir. Thank you kindly. Take care. All right. Thanks. Have a good